Hello everyone, my name is Sohil and welcome back to the channel again. Hope you are all doing good and I am doing absolutely great. Are you an artificial intelligence or machine learning student? If you are, then this video is going to help you. Because in this video, we are going to discuss about the roadmap of artificial intelligence or machine learning engineer. So before getting into the video, if you are new to this channel, then make sure to subscribe this channel. So without wasting any time, let's get into the video. As an AIML student, the first thing you need to do is to learn a programming language. So the most commonly used programming language for artificial intelligence and machine learning is none other than Python. So you need to start learning Python because Python consists of various libraries like NumPy, Pandas and Scikit-learn which will be used for machine learning. Even if you are a data science student, then you need to learn Python because Python helps in data collection, data cleaning, data pre-processing and training machine learning models. So this is the widely used language for AIML and data science. Even for cybersecurity, Python will be preferred more. So the Python is the most trending language in 2023. And if you want to learn Python for free, there are various resources available on YouTube. If you want to know the best channels in order to learn Python, then I made a video on that topic. So click here the i button in order to jump onto that video. And the next thing you need to do is to strengthen your mathematical skills especially in topics like probability, statistics and linear algebra because mathematics plays a key role in artificial intelligence, machine learning and even data science. Remember one thing, while revising these concepts, you should not try to buy hat these formulas, rather you should try to understand the concepts behind them because in future you are not going to write or derive these formulas while developing machine learning models because all these concepts are already available in Python libraries like NumPy. So you just need to understand these topics clearly. So if you are done with Python and Mathematics, the next thing you need to do is to learn data structures and algorithms. Because data structures gives you the detailed idea about how the data is being stored, retrieved and manipulated in a computer. Generally, a data structure is a way of organizing data so that it can be easily retrieved in future in order to do operations on it. So generally, there will be some optimal algorithms which will be helping you to do operations on these data structures in an efficient way by saving time and memory. So you must need to have a strong foundation on data structures and algorithms to perform operations on data because in machine learning you are completely going to deal with data. So make sure to have some strong foundations on this topic. So once you are done with Python, Mathematics and Data Structures and Algorithms, the next thing you need to do is to learn Jupyter. Jupyter is an environment where various machine learning engineers and data scientists share their work. There will be a lot of data sets in Jupyter which will be contributed by various machine learning engineers and data scientists. So you can download a wide variety of data sets which you are going to use in developing machine learning models. So you should need to learn how to use Jupyter and various commands in Jupyter so that you can collaborate with other artificial intelligence and machine learning enthusiasts. So once you are done with these four steps then you need to start learning some libraries in Python. So the libraries you are going to learn are NumPy, Pandas and Matplotlib. The libraries like NumPy and Pandas are going to help you while doing data manipulation and whereas Matplotlib is going to help you in data visualization. So if you are done with these 5 steps, now you can start learning the concepts of machine learning. While learning ML, you need to focus on the concepts like supervised learning, unsupervised learning, regression, classification and clustering. Remember one thing, you need to do hands-on learning while learning these concepts because just learning concepts doesn't help you in developing machine learning models. So practical learning is the most important thing which will be going to enhance your machine learning skills. You can start learning ML concepts with the help of standard books or either you can take some courses available on internet. So one of the most popular courses available on machine learning till today's date is Andrew NG's machine learning course. If you are willing to buy some courses then make sure to check that course. So once you are done with learning these topics and making some hands-on projects, it's time to deep dive into some concepts like deep learning, ML ops, neural networks and computer vision. So guys, this is the complete roadmap for learning, machine learning and artificial intelligence. I hope this video added some value to your life. If it is, then do like, share, comment the video and make sure to subscribe the channel for more amazing videos. And I will be back soon with another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned. Wanna try to battle rap? Snap, crack a pop, mind fried to a
Chris, make an MC and 